I met Costa and Chief Executive Andrew Wiley earlier this month. His enthusiasm for the business is infectious. He always wanted to be an engineer and set out to university with this goal in mind. Now I can drive past St Pancras Station and tell his daughter that he had a hand in restoring the fantastic building. Costain is now an infrastructure specialist with operations in consultancy, design, engineering and maintenance. He was involved with every aspect of building new infrastructure or making what's already there even better. While the construction sector has been reeling in the face of government spending cuts, this has hit some sectors harder than others. The last five years have been about positioning the firm towards the biggest 20% of firms and organisations who control 80% of the total infrastructure spending. Its business model is geared towards the challenges of upgrading the UK's creaking infrastructure. Last October the government said that £200 billion needs to be spent on essential infrastructure over the next five years alone. In a recent investor presentation, Costain went further and detailed the size of the markets it's targeting in the UK. The numbers are breathtaking. The water industry will see spending of £22 billion over the next 15 years. The power sector will see spending of £110 billion over the next 10 years. And the nuclear sector will spend £44.5 billion in decommissioning alone. In total, these markets could be worth up to £322 billion. For a firm with an annual turnover of £1 billion a year, this represents a massive long-term opportunity. Across the UK, roads are crumbling and need repairing. Bridges need replacing for safety reasons and nuclear reactors have to be decommissioned safely. Several of these sectors are regulated by the government. The water industry, for example, works to a five-year asset management programme. This effectively forces water companies in the UK to spend £22 billion on infrastructure such as treatment works and sewers between 2010 and 2015. Costain has positioned itself towards this sector and others and it's right at the sharp end of essential infrastructure spending. Consultants advise clients at the very start of a project and help organisations decide on the most appropriate way to address their needs. This part of Costain's business advises clients in sectors such as nuclear, roads and water. Increasingly, big clients are looking for a full range of services. Costain's plan is to attract customers by offering a one-stop shop. By its very nature, consulting is a high-margin business. Over the last couple of years, the construction sector has shrunk in size. Certain sectors such as commercial offices have been ravaged by the recession. Throughout this time, Costain has been winning new contracts at a fast rate. Its order book is currently £2.4 billion, down just £200 million compared with the end of 2009. It's also named as preferred bidder on £400 million worth of projects. This effectively means they're in the bag. Costain has a very strong balance sheet. If its cash levels haven't fallen since 2009, when they're £120 million, that means its market value is virtually the same as its cash. For a business with £20 million in profits each year, this means to us that the share price is way too low. Not only does its significant cash balance make it attractive to a suitor, it also gives the firm options. It can invest in its business, fund takeovers, or even return cash to shareholders. We think its business will continue to grow sales and profit for years to come for the following reasons. Its target markets are massive. Acquisitions can fill gaps in its business increasing both sales and profits. It's been growing its order book in a falling market and its cash in the bank gives Costain options. An opportunity like Costain doesn't come along every day.